Cancer, you're jealous. You're jealous that ASAP Rocky is living the life with Rihanna that you couldn't live. Your fairy tale, your dream life. You don't have to take my word for it. Listen to Drake. Don't have the fairy tale like, oh, Drake started a family with Rihanna. Like, this is like so <laughs> you said you had way better chicks than her. Bruh, is this you? One of my baddest women ever, I call her Rihanna. Alex saw a play obsessed by Mariah Carey because Drake is back at it again, talking about Rian at this point. Riri needs to put a restraining order on Drake because being this obsessed with someone is not normal. So Drake just dropped a bunch of old footage of Rihanna from years ago and this comes after he's been consistently dragging her and ASAP Rocky in songs. But it seems like Rocky has finally had enough of Drake coming for his wife and he just fired back at him on a new diss track for being a complete creep who still hung up on our but that's not all word on the street is that Rihanna and Kendrick Lamar are working on another collab where they plan to go nuclear on Drake and expose his weird obsession with her and other women who rejected him. See, it's been over six years since Ban last mentioned Drake in public. Whatever little situationship she had with Drake, she shut the door on that ages ago. In fact, she never even claimed Drake in the first place. That woman has fully moved on. And all she talks about these days are her kids and Isipi. I honestly think that she forgot Drake even exists. Well, did you ever imagine when you when you pictured your family that like this is what it would be like? Did you did you had to have some idea? No, you don't have an idea. You just hope I hope that I can have kids one day and I hope I can have them in love and I hope that I can be a part of a family that, you know, breaks generational curses and just like moves forward and does new things and raises our kids better than we've been raised and every, all, all the beautiful things and it's happening and I can't believe it. And what's the thing that surprised you most about seeing your best friend become a father? Ooh, I, I loved him differently as a dad. This, this is, yeah, this is major, major, like, it's a turn on. It's just like, wow. What a leader, what a great, patient, loving, and my kids are obsessed with him. Meanwhile, Drake can't seem to keep a girlfriend to save his life. And at almost 40 years old, he still hasn't had a long-term relationship. So the fact that this man who's never had a loving relationship and had to hide the fact that he fathered a son with an adult star is now shading Rihanna. And Rocky is actually insane. And you can't even chalk this up to trolling anymore because no one is laughing. It's just creepy and weird. And honestly, it's Loki giving in cell vibes. So what exactly did ACP Rocky say about Drake and in this new song? And what is actually wrong with Drake that he's still obsessed with a woman who hasn't paid him any mind in years? Let's break this down. There's something genuine there. We're not like forcing some story on people. I mean, it's, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the music that we make and the energy that we bring is, is genuine. I mean, we have a lot of genuine energy between us, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm not a psychiatrist, but you can't tell me Drake's obsession with Rihanna is normal. It's been ages since Rihanna cut all ties with Drake and moved on with her life, now living her best life with ASAP Rocky and their two kids. But it seems like Drake just can't shake off that old rejection for some time now. Drake's been throwing shade left, right, and center at both Rihanna and Rocky, most recently on his Kendrick diss track, Family Matters, where he brags about how he slept with Rihanna first and mocks Rocky for being a family. Man, but here's what's really creepy. Drake might be dragging Rari's name through the mud now, but his obsession with her is well-documented and spent over a decade publicly thirsting over her. The crazy part is that Drake only started dissing Rihanna and calling her average after she went public with Rocky. It's like that guy who becomes obsessed with a girl, and when she turns him down, he calls her ugly. And the worst part, Drake still can't let go in. I know some folks claim Rihanna is the only girl Drake loves, but I don't think Drake ever loved her. He just wanted to conquer her. And he obviously doesn't do well when someone turns him down. Think about it. He ended up dissing all women who rejected him. Moved on with someone else from Riri to Nikki, Megan, The Stallion, Highbury, Serena Williams. The list goes on. Oh, and by the way, isn't it interesting how Drake always disses black women? He got rejected by Scarlett Johansson, too. 
but I don't remember him ever dissing her in a song, but that's the topic for another video. Now let me give you some context on this Rihanna situation. Drake and Rihanna first crossed paths back in 2005, when Riri was in Toronto filming the Pondera replay music video, Drake always claimed he fell head over heels with Riri from day one. But let's be real, Rihanna wasn't feeling it. And shortly after she started dating Chris Brown. Now we all know Rihanna and Chris Brown were doomed from the start. But here's the kicker, while they were in item, Drake was constantly taking jabs at Chris. But after Rihanna and Chris split up, following that 2009 incident, Drake suddenly started acting all buddy-buddy with Chris, and even collaborated on Two Song Song with him anyway. The romance rumors between Rihanna and Drake first started swirling in May 2009, when they were spotted on what looked like a date at Lucky Strike Bowling Alley in Nice. But Rihanna shut down those romance rumors fast, and she made it clear that she was just having a little fun with Drake no strings attached. But that didn't stop Drake from catching feelings. And while Rihanna downplayed their little bowling day, Drake went full in obsessed mode and wrote a whole song. About it in fireworks, he even sings, Who could have predicted Lucky Strike would have you stuck with me um xc excuse me Drake, Rihanna was definitely not stuck with you after one day. But Drake just couldn't stop talking about her in interviews like he was totally hung up on her. I think that we have a connection that's established for life and you know that is that you know I love her and support her unconditionally and I like to think that she feels the same way um, and you know when still fancy her though do I fancy her of course I mean who wouldn't look at her she's stunning um, of course I do yeah no she, she's incredible but you know it's 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 one of those things that it's, it's it's a maybe one day maybe maybe not I'm 23 years old and I feel like I'm on top of the world right now and it's very rare that I feel small around anybody um, especially you know a woman that I like it's just I, I am in a confident position right now and really my whole purpose for putting that on the album was just to pay homage to the fact that she is a, an amazing woman that made me feel nervous, man. She made me feel small. She's an overwhelming being. Like, she's beautiful and talented, and her personality is like, it's almost like scary. And for the first time, a, a woman just brought back that feeling of when I was 17 or 18, and I appreciate it so much because you get into this position and sometimes you just get numb to all those emotions that used to inspire you to write. So... Um, so Rihanna yeah, took Rihanna took man. heartbreak Drake. And homage to her as a woman, it really wasn't meant to be disrespectful. I mean, you know, she gives me inspiration, but it more comes in the form of, you know, like when we dance, she just presses up against me a little extra hard, you know. That's really my motivation to really do well. We're just having fun. We just enjoy each other's energy, and we decided to make that the the uh, basis of the performance. And it's very, you know, it's very elaborate, and I think people enjoy it a lot. It's got a lot of energy to it, for sure. It's a little bit of fire, you know, some things, some things going on on, on that stage, for sure. Now, once Rihanna saw that Drake was getting a little too obsessed, started distancing herself from him. And that's when Drake got all in his feelings and started throwing shade, accusing her of leading him on and giving him false hope in 2010, Drake told the New York Times that he felt like Rihanna used him as a pawn and said she was doing exactly what I've done to so many women throughout my life, which is show them quality time, then disappear. I was like, wow, this feels terrible. But then a few years later, Drake again started gushing over Riri in public, and he told Rolling Stone that Rihanna is still his ultimate fantasy. Now, Rihanna and Drake did reconnect a few years later and dropped that steamy track work, and Drake was convinced that this time Rihanna would be his for real fast forward to the 2016 BMAs, and Drake went all in declaring his love for her while presenting the Vanguard Award. But judging by Rihanna's reaction, it's clear that she wasn't feeling the same way.